Hey guys, it's me, a little Sir Fetched, and welcome back to Pokemon Violet. Leveled up my team in between episodes, there was just an outbreak. Um, the spawn. You want to see what kind of outbreaks spawned? Leveled up my team in between episodes. Um, it's a marine one. I found out a bit of a trick to finding I found a little bit of a trick possibly to evolving what's his face um Pomo. but yeah I want to show you here this is my team Tinker Elvis Woodle Ross Sal and Caliente all at level 34 And I also have this one trick that I want to test out here. Also, by the way, in between episodes, I also found this too. It's a shiny fan feed. I was looking. I found it while searching for Pokemon to trade over to my main account for version exclusives. I don't have a name for it, mostly because I didn't plan on using it. But you know. I also have a dead box here, just just for the future. Okay, yeah. So the trick that I saw is from a YouTuber called Philly Beats You, and basically what he did is I have to find out where I'm supposed to be going. I think it's here. Cortando. It's an easy way to level up Pomo, or like an easy way to get Pomo to actually do some running. So what you have to do is simple. I think that's it. And then, yeah. He should eventually run around. Yeah, he should run around. And this works, apparently. So... Yeah, we just gotta wait for him to run around for like, I'd say, 10 minutes, and then, like, hopefully he'll evolve. I'm still not certain if he'll evolve, but yeah. This is a little trick I found. I'm not gonna do it right now. Mostly because I have an episode film. Um, I might do it in between episodes to get Ren to evolve, hopefully, finally. Because you still make me upset. But, it's time to take on the fourth gym? Or do I go? Okay, I think it's... That's Lavencia. Okay, we need to go. Okay, that's Cabo Popo. I need to go to Cascarapa. This is, should be the fourth gym. Or at least the gym I want to take on for. So I'm going to put you up front. Do you have a miracle seed? Did I buy one for you? Or did I just not? Of course I didn't. Of course I didn't buy a miracle seed.
I also have two mons in the PC waiting on standby for whenever I do decide. If I lose a team member, I'll have an extra mon on standby. As you can see, I still had uh, my Orthworm and um, Quackwavall. Or Quackswell is what he is right now. But they're on standby for whenever the time comes that I need to use them. I don't know why I never picked up a Miracle Seed. Okay, um... Give to you... Now, let's fly back to Kaskorafa. I've also, um, as of filming this episode, I've beaten the whole main story on my main playthrough. It's a very good ending. I can't wait to get to it on this series. Mostly because I can't wait to catch some Paradox Pokemon. Like catching paradox Pokemon is one of, is one of the things I'm excited to do in this series, and we'll get to do it once we beat all 18 badges, and then also do the other two things. Because I believe you have to do it last. I think like we'll have to beat the league, and then we'll have to do all the Team Star stuff in order to actually have access to the, whatchamacallit, in order to have access to, oh yeah, she gives you a, she gives you just a regular whooper, that's how you get Quagsire in this game, in order to have access to the final story, because there's four stories in this game. The three that you're used to, and then once you beat those, there's a fourth story entitled The Way Home. And it has to deal with... ...things, which I'm not going to spoil right now. Vault and Veluza, I'm white, I'm white! Ah, Kofu, wait! Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yep. I knew it, of course you are. That big man just that just left is Kofu, the leader of the Kaskarafa gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in. Kind gym challenger. Could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Yes. Oh, you are too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet, I'm counting on you. How about Kofu's wallet? It's a Vinonat wallet, I like that. This can be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. Kofu's headed to Porto Marianda. Marananda. He's on the it's on the other side of the desert to the west. Be careful though, there are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. I've already been there. Oh my gosh, I've battled 140 different species of Pokemon. But, I've only got 33. In my main playthrough, I think I'm at like, 3... Like, probably 340 last time I've checked. So I'm really close on getting all the Pokemon. I'm just missing... Just a bunch of evolutions at this point. That's all I'm missing. If you wanna know how I like leveled up here, um... For some Pokemon, like Elvis and uh, Ross, like, Giraffe gives a lot of experience. More than I thought it would. So I was easily able to level them up that way. And then as for the other Pokemon, I found Chansey's. I used a normal spawn power, and I found Chansey's, so I was able to do it that way, too. 
which obviously chances give off a ton of experience. Uh, I think I'm, yeah, right here. That's where I'm going. Walton Beluza, where? Where in the world? Where in the world is my wallet? Without my wallet, I won't be able to get today's hot item. It'll get bought up by someone else. <laughs> Don't worry, old man Kofu. I'm gonna look for it right now. What do you want? Old man Kofu's in the middle of some su super duper important ingredient buying. If you're thinking about trying to interrupt him, then I, his best apprentice, will have to stop you. So do you have something super important to say to us busy folks, or what? This is super important. Super important, eh? We'll see about that. Maybe that will shut your mouth. Kinda rude, but whatever. Gym trainer Hugo. He's got floats here. Ooh. I forgot about Pokemon that have ice type moves. That's a no bueno. I might then, just to deal with Pokemon like that, I might evolve my, what you might call it, I might evolve my Caliente, um, so, I did. Because I have a Firestone, I can evolve him, it's just I was kind of waiting. But I could have pulled him, or I can do option number two, and that's Sendo. You know who. Made of my existence. Wait, the evolution is damn cloud, sir? For some reason I thought the like starting form of this thing was claw it, sir, not clutch. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe I'm just stupid. Definitely something that is a possibility. Yeah, I might take Pomo out just to see if I can. I'll give him a try. Shucks, I let old man go from down. Dang it, that backfired, and now my wallet's empty too. Hey, step right up and tell me, what's all the ruckus about over here? Old man Kofu, seems this kid's got something to say to you. What's that now? A customer here for a little old wallet that's money me. What can I do for you? I have your wallet. What in Veluza? My wallet. Say now. Say what now? My lobby staff sent you here to bring it to me. God. That's a huge help. Thanks for coming all this way. Guess I should apologize for my little apprentice, apprentice too. Hope it didn't bother you too much. There's something here at Porto Marianda. The Porto Mariada auction that we really want to get our hands on. Just so you can imagine, we were both a, a bit worked up to find I'd forgotten my wallet. Ladies and gents, you don't want to miss this. Here comes today's last item. Huh? Feast your eyes on the main event. I have here the legendary Wakame Wakam Seaweed of the Polar Region. Do I have any takers? Walton Beluza! I don't even have to touch it. I can see it's got the springy texture of seaweed chock full of nutrients. Just look at it. Look how it catches the light and shines so brilliantly. 
Brilliant damage training pearl remakes confirm. Oh, and that rich fresh or fresh or fit. Fresh aroma, something looks straight out of the ocean. I need to get me some of that. Now listen, kid, if you want to challenge me at the Kaskaroff gym, you're going to need some smarts. This is the perfect place to test you. Get the wooden bed on that seaweed for this old man. I'm giving my best. Yeah, you already know the ins and outs of auctions as a, at such a young age. You're something else, kid. Here you are, fat funds for the auction. Be smart with it and win this old man that seaweed. I got fifty thousand dollars. Oh, it's those very well coming. See, we started thing at ten thousand. I'm not a bit. Sweet. I got it. I think I did worse than when I first did this. That was amazing. You put those grown up betters to shame with your bidding skills. Thank you for winning that seaweed for this old man. I'll be taking it now if you don't mind. This seaweed's a great catch. I'll be feeling low if this if, as a sea bed if I fail to get my hands on it. If there's any of that any of that money I gave you left, feel free to keep it as a tip. You can even use it to try your hand at the auction again if you like. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to Cowscroft Gym now. Old man Kofu's gonna prepare a real good battle for you. See you there. And he's off. I did it! I'm the best. I think. Um, I'm gonna put you back on the team, Ren. I'm giving you one more chance. I'm gonna switch out. Hmm. You know, Sal, I, I, I'm happy that I got Shiny. I am. But unfortunately, you're not... You're not... Oh, you're not Paldean. And I really do like to use Paldea Pokemon on my main teams. Here, so, um... I'm sorry. I feel really bad. I feel really bad. I might end up switching you back, though, Sal. Don't worry. Just for now, we're gonna take a break from you. Not because I hate you. Don't even think that in the slightest. I don't hate you. You're a good Pokemon. It's just, you know, I also want to win in this gym, so... Oh! I want to you. It was like a rare chance that I gave me a Winky Dee 200. I think at the most I've gotten from the roaming is 10, but the rarest thing you can get, it's like a 1% chance or a 0.1% chance. You can get um, 200 coins. Which is like, you need a thousand, I think, to evolve Gimme Ghoul into Golden Go. I think. Like, I think he's the best I feel like he's gonna get. So let's... Let's get ourselves... Skill Villain. 
too much. I can't cancel the evolution now, so. Let's get Skull going. My favorite, one of my favorite type combinations. I wanted a spicy pepper Pokemon. Because I knew that would be the Pokemon to get a grass type. To get the grass type. Uh, the grass and fire type. And it happened. The exact Pokemon I wanted this generation was this thing. A spicy pepper Pokemon. And it happened. I was so happy when that happened. This is the, one of the best things I've done. Oh no! Well now, Fetch! You appear to be progressing well in your gym circuits. What's this now? Is, that, is this that kid I've been hearing so much about? Hey kiddo, I heard you're like way too good at battling, yeah? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> you got some spirit, big shot. This young lady would be Rika. That's me, Rika here at your service. Hey, I know I'm pretty, but no need to get intimidated or something. She's a little farcical, shall we say, but like myself, she is a member of the Elite Four. What? I wasn't trying to be funny. Anyway, hmm, I'll tell you something, kiddo. You look fun, like interesting at a glance anyway. Naturally, he is one of our Academy's esteemed students. Oh, haha. -ha. Yeah, that checks out. But the battles you'll face at these gyms really rack it up the farther you go. Indeed, your average trainer abandons the gym challenge at roughly this very point. Not you, right, kiddo? See you when you hit the gym and assessments. Show, show these gyms what you got. Best of fortune to see you. Gym time! Yes, I did. Can't thank you enough, though this is a little irregular. Please consider your gym ta test passed. Are you ready to challenge the surging chef, Kofu? It's time, guys. It's Kofu time. Kofu, play with us, come on. I'd be honored if you would try a new item from my restaurant's menu as well. Sorry, everybody. Got some business to take care of as gym leader real quick, like... Keeping someone waiting, you see? Please forgive me, I need to do this first. Hey! Okay. Hey, yeah, step right up. I've been waiting for you. Thanks for the help over in Porto Marianda. You did a fine, mighty fine job. Now that I got that legendary seaweed, I can I can make some real quality dishes with it. But don't expect me to go easy on you in your in our battle here. The auction we battle with buying and selling. At my gym, we battle in a more traditional sense. Moves and tactics ever changing as the region see. I'm gonna serve you a full course of water type Pokemon. Don't try to eat them though. Jim Lurkoper sent up the loser. feel a bit indebted to you, but don't expect me to go easy on you just because of that. Oh no, what did you do? 
I have no clue! Are you kidding me? You're over leveled. That's why you're not listening, right? Okay, fine. Didn't expect that to happen. I guess I can deal with that. I like his I like his cries. Um Wug Trio. Fine, you know what? Caliente, it's your turn. Not a terrestrialize. I don't remember which head gets the terrestrialize form, but I don't think they both do. Out of there. That was demonic. Oh, it's the green one that gets the hit. I'm wondering if it if it's terrestrialized form is the fire type, I'm wondering if the red head gets the uh, form. Gets the hat. That'd be cool. That would be very cool. The tides ebb and flow, it's time for a rage and tidal surge. Prepare for the rigging of a, for a bit. Prepare the rigging for a big transformation. My Pokemon's gonna rock the boat. Sometimes I did not expect them to transform into a water type. I was confused for a second. No! That's not okay. Well, we defeated Kaskarov Jim. Molten Valooza, you're a lively one, aren't you? A little too lively if I do say so myself. Still never gonna get Pong Pong to evolve. Yeah, <laughs> losses were flushing as the air as the morning at the morning market. Just like a helpless little match carp too, eh? Flopping around all willy nilly. Got my good, I'll tell you. What a great catch you are. Just like a master fisher, he held on tight to the last second and reeled in victory. Now it's time to head over a gym badge to you. Let's get a real good photo together of you and a pose I've been wanting to try out for a while now. Fourth gym defeated. Four gym badges in your possession. Put one up to level 40. Will it be easier to catch and listen to you when you ask him to do things? I'm going to this in as a special bonus. I'm sure you can make good use of it. Alrighty, it's about time I headed back to my restaurant and got some prepping for the next wave. You come back and see me again now, you hear? Hola. 
Hey, you just says you finished up in here, huh? Nice work. Got you four badges in now, right? Man, that's awesome. Can't believe you're halfway through your gym journey already. Your efforts have burned so much fruit so quickly. It makes me want to challenge you to a battle. It makes me want to just challenge you to battle right here, right now. But I'm going to have to wait. Because I put together my team of Pokemon specifically to take on the gym leader. Dang it. When I battle you, I'm going to do it under the best possible conditions. Which means this time, I've got to ask for a rain check. It's the worst timing ever. Sorry, Fetch. Forgive me, forgive me! Yeah, despite the fact that this is like half as long as I usually do, I'm gonna end off this episode here. Also because I'm tired. Um, and I want to do a bit of training in between episodes to work on my team a little bit. So next time, I think we're gonna be taking on another gym. Not for certain, but we'll, we'll see when we get there. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.